hi guys so today I wanted to do a review on a lipstick for you guys and it's not a happy review um, unfortunately um, my review is going to be on the Fergie what are these um, center stage collection lipsticks this is the a newer one that I got um, I wanted to give these another shot because I did like them at first, but unfortunately, not so much. So, I will show you guys the three colors that I got, um, starting with the two oldest ones. And this is what the packaging ends up looking like. Um, from like putting them in my makeup bag or my purse or my pocket and things like that. This is a new one. I wore it yesterday to work, so I actually ended up, well, well, we'll get there in a minute. So. I'll go with the darkest to the lightest. So this one, which is the darkest one, it's a really pretty color. It's in Ferguson Crest Cabernet, which that is what it looks like. It's just a nice berry red color, which their um, Sugar Plum Fairy is actually pretty much the same color from the Mega Last Line by Wet Wild. Um, then we have Fusionista which is a really nice fuchsia pink color with a like purpley red iridescence to it. Now you guys are going to see glare from my glasses because that's what happens. But there's that. So Ferguson Crest Cabernet Fusionista. And then the newest one I got is called Old School Glam. Now these are anywhere I've seen between $319 and $349. Um, I looked up both prices. The 319 is at Walgreens. They're on sale right now for 219, so it's a dollar off. Um, and at Walgreens, they're 349. Um, so there is old school glam. It's like a pink color with it had the it has to have some sort of sort of sparkle in it because yesterday when I was wearing it, it kind of sparkled. So it's like a pinky red color, which I was expecting it to be red. So. Um, as many ways as I have tried this, these slide all over my face. I have used my e.l.f. lip lock pencil right here. I've used this. I've used lip liner. Um, I've used foundation. Nothing is creating something that it won't slide all over my face. Go into fine lines, which is why I use the lip lock pencil. I go around my lips and it fills in everything and creates a nice barrier nothing nothing is helping i've even used it like just on my lips like how you're supposed to to like fill in your lips it's supposed to help it stay it literally slides everywhere and then re if you cannot reapply it there is no reapplying about it i ended up putting on don't blink pink yesterday over it just because i'm like it didn't even like leave a stain like the um mega last do it didn't like the colored ones they don't leave you know what i mean like the more like purpley red ones they leave a little bit of a stain this does not but at least on my lips but on my skin it does and i am looking really pale for some reason let me fix that well it's because my brightness is up like crazy but i'm gonna show you the colors again it just slides all around and they don't set anything. I'm just not. And for the price, no, 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 sir. I'm okay. Let me double check the price of the um Mega Last ones because honestly, I prefer those a lot more. They're one ninety nine. These are three forty nine. That is ridiculous because I reach for these a heck of a lot more like I'm every time I'm grabbing one out it's a different color um and the fact that Ferguson Crest Cabernet I can get the same color in the other line why not I can do the same thing with um Fusionista I can get it in a different line I have Fusionista in so many different colors that I like better like my NYC um smooth skin in blue rose 
let me swatch it it's a little bit more pink but it's got the same blue undertone to it i mean i'm just not i'm not thrilled about it at all um and i also think i have this lipstick that matches let me see this jordana one that's matte yeah this jordana one that's matte it's a mix between the two but it's the same type of shade but i'm just i'm not happy with that one um so i have and like i said i have so many more that i would like to wear i know jordana has one that's kind of like that but there's so many more of these shades that i have that i can wear so i'm just i i won't be repurchasing any of them um i haven't really heard that great things of the fergie collection or what i have used of it i do not like the eyeshadows um like the colors were pretty but they didn't stay very well anything like that the only thing so far that i've liked of the fergie collection that i've tried and i i like something more than it is the center stage or no the take on the day eyeshadow primer it's decent um i like my elf one better what are you gonna do so um yeah i'm not the biggest fan of these like i said i'll use them but only if it's something that i can make sure okay i can check up on it a lot or like i'm not going to be talking or i don't know it's just like it would have to be in the winter because during the summer i feel like these would melt literally melt off so not excited wet and wild um they're just not good it might be just the sh these shades different ones might be okay but i'm just not thrilled about any of these so yeah so that is my little re review on the Fergie Center Stage collection lipsticks. I hope you guys liked it. Um, if you did, go ahead, go ahead and like my video down below and subscribe to my channel for more reviews like this. And I will see you guys later. Bye.